Could slowing climate change be as easy as cutting back on meat? Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Suknanen, and this is your Daily Pitch. A new study finds the single biggest difference any one person can make to reduce their impact on the planet is cut back on meat, specifically beef. That's according to a study from the World Resources Institute, a global research organization that spans more than 60 countries. Their report found that people in wealthy countries will need to reduce the amount of beef or lamb they eat by 2050 in order to prevent catastrophic climate change. By 2050, the UN predicts the world population will grow from about 7.7 .7 billion to 10 billion people. And that's a lot more people to feed, requiring more land to raise crops and animals. The journal Nature published a report in October that found if no action is taken, the environmental impacts of the food system could increase by as much as 90%, making the planet unsafe for humans. So what makes beef so bad? For years, environmentalists have said meat production is a major source of greenhouse gas emissions. According to the World Resources Institute, beef accounts for about half of the land use and emissions associated with U.S. diets, but it provides just 3% of calories in American diets. In other parts of the world, lamb, sheep, and goat are widely consumed meats and have similar environmental impacts. Experts say shifting away from these meats could help close the emissions gap. Experts agree you don't have to go completely vegetarian to reduce your carbon footprint. More and more people are opting to become flexitarians, meaning they're intentionally choosing a more plant-based diet to cut back on meat. Some easy ways to cut back Try replacing about a third of your burger meat with a vegetable like mushrooms. And instead of including meat in every meal, you can occasionally opt for a plant-based protein like beans or lentils. For more videos like this, be sure to follow Your Daily Pitch on Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube.